everybody today I'm going to show you how to update Canadian zip codes uh, so Canadian zip codes have uh, some of the hardest zip codes um, in terms of the Google Ads algorithm um, I don't know why they make it this way uh, but why do you need to know this it's because uh, maybe you're working with a events type of company like paint night uh, where they have different events on a weekly basis and these zip codes need to constantly be updated so what I'm going to first show you is how to remove the zip codes. So you're going to come over to here. And this is all these zip codes where we previously had um, events. And now we have to delete them all um, because uh, we don't want to be running um, ads in an area where the event has already came and passed. And it just doesn't make sense. Um, so first, we were removing all these locations. And by the way, removing the locations, um, it is, is all dependent um, upon the scenario that you are in. So some people may be having an event in something this week, but now an additional event next week. So only remove the location uh, if the event or whatever type of structure is no longer taking place. Um, and that's the scenario we're in right now where it's just no longer happening. So that's, what's, that's why we're doing this. So then we're going to click this pencil icon, or you can click that. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to click the pencil icon. Uh, we're going to click the check mark. And then um, we're going to check the sheet that the client or um, however type of well, way they deliver the zip codes to you will be done. Uh, in this case, uh, the client just sent me an Excel sheet, but you know you can Google the zip code or you know, it doesn't really matter. So you're going to copy all that, and you're going to paste it in here. And you'll notice that when you click search, boom, none of these pop up. That's because uh, whenever you're doing Google Ads, they don't recognize these last three characters. And a lot of people in Canada, they may not want to, or an end client, they may not want to go through the work of deleting these last three characters. So what you have to do is you need to then figure out how to delete them. So this is already in Excel. And what you're going to do is you're going to Google right here how to remove the last character in Excel. Uh, and when you click on this first result and you scroll down a little bit to maybe like the mid page here, it brings us to this, um, to this, and it says to remove the last three characters, use this. So you can quite simply copy that, bring this into the Excel sheet, paste it here. Oh, but look, the zip codes are in column D, not in column A. So then we need to come over here and just delete the A's and then we are two steps from being, being done. So it says T7X, T7X for P9. Then if you want to just copy that rule, you just scroll all the way down like this. And boom, there is all your zip codes. Now you're going to copy. You're going to bring it right back over to where we were before. You're going to paste these bad boys in. Search. Do a quick scroll through just to make sure it's not pulling up another location. Sometimes you'll see that it'll say, I don't know, comma China or comma uh, United States because a lot of places are just named the same thing or have similar zip codes. Uh, so just make sure it's not another country. And uh, I'm scrolling through here right now just to make sure. And by the way, if it does say another country, um, you're going to add in RO. See, if it's this zip code, you're going to do a comma and then the place after that, uh, so that it knows it's maybe Canada instead of China. Alrighty, scroll down, scroll down, and boom, yeah, it looks like this is all good. We're gonna click target all, and we are going to click save. And that is how you update zip codes in Canada. I hope this video helps, and uh, please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.